In this part, which is part 13 of the GAN chart series of chart GS, we're going to adjust here the Y scale in such a way that we can control how many tasks we want to see at a specific time. So let's start to work on this. So now let's start to figure out how we can reduce the amount of tasks being shown here. So we're going to make a very simple structure and we'll build on that in the next video parts. So as you can see here, we have nine tasks, but it doesn't make any sense to show all nine tasks if some of these tasks are basically done for uh, December or November in this case. And if you go back to October, you can see here this. So what we want to do is we want to reduce the amount of tasks or give people the control to reduce the amount of tasks. To do that, we're going to first make sure that it can start to show a certain amount of task at the same time. So if I scroll down here, we go to the scales object and then in here, we're going to create a new scale or this we're going to grab the Y scale. And in here, what I want to do is if I do here the min value, you can see here, index, uh, let's say index zero all the way to index number five, task six, say number five, if I do this and say refresh, it creates an error or it doesn't give us what we want because it's only select one task instead of uh, multiples. And the reason why this happens is because we don't, or uh, charges doesn't understand our label structuring right now. So let's go up here at the very top. And if you go to the very top here of our JavaScript code, you have here the labels, we, which we comment out. Then we have the labels here on the Y as well. This here is understood for drawing, but the scales cannot figure out what's going on here. So what I want to do is I want to create basically an array specifically on the Y scale area. So we're not doing it here. If we do it here, this will overrule the Y scales here or the Y values here or the Y variables because it doesn't understand it. So what we need to do is we need to have an array with labels in the Y scale itself. So let's go here. I'm going to put in here a comma. I'm going to say your labels. Basically, we're just going to say this. It's a string value. We're going to say task one. And then we're just going to copy all of this. Paste, 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 and paste. So how many we have here now? Oh, we have here now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, final one. All right. So then we have here task two, number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So if I save this, refresh, there we are. So this works now. So we have this min and max, and if we do here number three, it reduces the amount of items here. Next video, we're going to focus on making a drop down where we can select the specific task that we can show.